Hey, what's up my friends? It's Steve from Straight Fire Picks. We have best bets for NBA here for you today on Wednesday, February 7th, 2024. We got NBA player prop spreads predictions here for you today. We're going to have four picks that make a great value bets for this Wednesday NBA slate. As always, we'd just like to thank you guys all for your continued support here on the channel. If you're new to the channel here today, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 9,000 subscribers now. You guys have been absolutely killing it here at the channel. I just want to say I do appreciate all of you guys. Make sure you guys check us out on social media, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, at Straight Fire Picks. More picks, content, ladder challenges, recaps, things like that. A uh, great way to keep up with us there. Also, be sure to check out our community Discord page as well. Uh, I'll have a link down below in the comment section and description for that. It's absolutely free. Um, you get access to the chat. Great way to connect with our community. Uh, more ideas for picks and things of that nature. So be sure to check that out as well. Also drop your favorite pick down below in the comment section as well. If you like your pick included in our comment capper section, just be sure to put a star or an asterisk next to your pick. And we'll include your pick in the video if it hits. Okay guys, now it's time for a shout out to our Straight Fire MVPs. So as always, you see this beautiful list here running beside me of all of our Straight Fire MVPs. If you guys are interested in becoming a Straight Fire MVP today, there's a join button down below. We'll also have a link in the comment section and description for that. Basically what you get with that, you get access to our plays early. Uh, if you become a Straight Fire MVP, basically whenever I'm done with the research and the notes in the morning, I post them up in the community tab for our Straight Fire MVPs where you can access the early lines um, and stuff like that for the day. Um, so that's a solid value. I just get a badge next to your name. Custom emojis, shout outs in the video, and roll color in the Discord. And it's a great way to support the channel and what we do here at the channel. It's the cost of a body coffee per month, $3.99. Shout out to our newest Straight Fire MVPs, Puneet Walia and Ashwini Yuridati. I appreciate you guys for signing up. So shout out to all you guys. You guys absolutely rock. But without further ado, let's do a recap from yesterday. Once again, guys, we had a had another rough day. That was our second consecutive day where we've uh, we've uh, just not had a great go of it. We ended up going one and four last night, minus 3.21 units. Uh, we did cash the Miami Heat, minus two and a half spread. That was our lone cash of the night. They did cash that easily. Uh, but unfortunately, our player props were just horrible last night, guys. I, the unders that we had, we had three unders yesterday. They all all went over. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. It's been, a, it's been a tough stretch for sure. One and eight in our last two days. Um... We've still been terrific over the last month, but obviously the last two days have been rough. Uh, we will bounce back. I'm determined to bounce back today. Uh, but we missed on uh, DiVincenzo under 22.5 points. Now, I will say I was pretty heartbroken by this one. He had 15 points late in the third quarter, and it was a fringe blowout. It was you know, next up by 25. He hits a three. He gets to 18 points. Uh, we get to the fourth quarter with him at 18. He starts the fourth. He played the whole third. Starts the fourth quarter. That's the way, you know, Thibodeau is working his minutes. Um, gets to 20. Gets subbed out at, like, the nine-minute mark. Um, and then, you know, I'm thinking at that point, you know, it's like a 25-point game. I'm thinking at that point, we're probably not going to see him again, so we cashed, right? Nope. He gets subbed back in, like, literally two or three minutes later. Uh, apparently, that guy doesn't need rest. Um, and then J Jalen Brunson gets hurt late in the game, too, which didn't help us out there either. And then DiVincenzo hits a late three. And then, and then he ends up soaring over. Then he ends up scoring the rest of the points after that. So, yeah, that one definitely hurt me. And then uh, Bridges under 23 and a half points there for the Nets. Um, he had 18 going into the fourth. Again, we had a shot at that. Uh, he just he just scored in the fourth. You know, that one was just, uh, again, that was actually a fringe blowout too. The, the Mavs were up by 20. I uh, just couldn't pull away. So both teams gave up the leads, which kind of um, got rid of that blowout potential we talked about. Giannis over six and a half assists. He lands at six. Uh, the Bucks didn't shoot well from three. If I had to go looking at his potential assist, it was probably pretty high last night. Just the way it goes, guys. Sometimes, like I said, the luck just goes against you. Chet Holmgren under 18 and a half points. Uh, we had eight at the half. I thought I thought we had a good chance, you know, obviously to cash that. And then he comes out in the third and he hits like three threes in a row. I'm like, I don't know, guys. A tough night last night. There was definitely some bad reads. Got to be better. The Demon Chenzo one, we didn't need to play that. There was better stuff on the board, so I got to be better about that. But we're getting back after today. Let's get a 4-0. Oh, quick shout-out to our comic capper. Eric Me had Tyrese Halliburton over 13.5 points. Great call out there from Eric Me. All right, let's get after it and get this 4-0 sweep, guys. Let's get right into our picks today. At number one, we got Draymond Green. Over 21.5 PRAs here for the Golden State Warriors. 
minus 105 odds on DraftKings. Now, if you're looking for an individual line, I'd recommend rebounds, um, just because no one beat down there. And um, centers have been able to get some rebounds here lately, obviously, versus the 76ers, and obviously a little bit undersized. That's why I love this bet today as a whole. Uh, you got Green over just four of his last 10, but six of his last 10 on the road. We've seen him pick it up here most recently. He actually had 21 versus the 76ers in the first matchup um, on the 30th, and that was with Joel Embiid playing. So I think when Embiid out, I think this is going to be a great opportunity for Green to really clean up the paint um, and for the you know, Warriors, obviously, to go small like they like to do uh, with this new lineup with Draymond Green starting at center. Uh, which we like that. No one beat, like I said, for the 76ers. They've allowed the 11th most points, 12th most rebounds, and 6th most assists to centers over the last seven games. So uh, the lack of a beat is definitely showing defensively for sure. Um, and that is definitely the vulnerability right now of the 76ers if you look at it. Um, like I said, 21 in the first matchup. Uh, and that was on the third with Embiid playing. No one beat. We're also getting Draymond Green on the road. I like taking Draymond Green more on the road than at home. Uh, lately as well. He's averaging more PRAs on the road so far this year. Uh, so I think this is a great spot for Green once again to head over. Now, he is listed as questionable on the injury report with a knee contusion. I'm assuming he's going to play. Um, if he doesn't play, the bet will just void. Um, and if he plays, obviously he'll be ready to go to knee contusion. I, you know, I'm not trying to trying to make it in, you know make it sound insignificant, but it's you know, basically a knee bruise. So uh, anyway, guys, I do love it there for number one pick. We got Draymond Green over 21 and a half PRA. So for the Golden State Warriors, minus 105 odds on DraftKings. Again, at number two, we got RJ Barrett over nine and a half rebounds and assists here for the Toronto Raptors, plus 100 odds on DraftKings. Love the plus value here, guys. We got RJ Barrett eight out of his last 10, five of his last eight on the road since joining the Raptors. Hornets allow the 15th most rebounds, 4th most assists to small forwards. Over the last 7 games, though, they're allowing the 3rd most rebounds and the 5th most assists to small forwards. So, obviously, we like to see that. It's a great matchup here for RJ. I don't mind his PRAs as well. I believe his PRAs is at, like, 29 and a half. Uh, his point line's up at 20. I, don't, I definitely don't mind that. It's a great matchup across the board for him. I just, I love this low line for him. I feel a little bit better about his having 9 and a half uh, rebounds and assists. We saw RJ return on February 4th after, you know, about a week absence or so. He played 43 minutes, and then they rested him on the back-to-back -back on the 5th. Uh, so I'm anticipating him once again getting a pretty solid minute count. The Raptors really, you know, both these teams aren't the greatest right now, so I don't necessarily see any type of blowout on either side. Uh, of course, anything can happen, but definitely could see RJ play some extended minutes today once again. Um, I absolutely love the odds of us cashing. If he gets anywhere near that type of minute count, I think we're definitely cashing. So, um, love it there, guys. For our number two pick, we got RJ Barrett over nine and a half rebounds and assists, plus 100 odds on DraftKings. Okay, and at number three, we got the Golden State Warriors minus two and a half spread here versus the Philadelphia 76ers, minus 108 odds on FanDuel. So, normally I don't have multiple picks in the same game, but I love this spot for the Warriors, guys. They've won two of the last three meetings. They now have. You know, they're not playing the 76ers, obviously, without Joel Embiid. Just a huge advantage across the board now for the Warriors. Obviously, Embiid, um, you know, holds them together. And without Embiid, the 76ers are just 4-11 and this season. They have not been good at all. And the Warriors have been playing a lot better lately. Um, we've seen them really uh, do a lot better. We saw them win in Brooklyn the other night, uh, going away there. Um, yeah, they really have been playing better, you know, overall. And, um... Like I said, they won the first meeting here with the 76ers as well, which I like seeing that. And I think, once again, uh, they're going to have a great opportunity to win this game at Philly without Embiid. Warriors 19th, 76ers 26th in defensive rating over the last 10 games. Warriors 5th, 76ers 14th in offensive rating over the last 10 games. So we like that. Nice edges there for the Warriors. Warriors actually 13-8 and eight against the spread on the road. That's actually 4th best in the NBA. So... I definitely prefer taking them on the road than at home. It's the same thing with Jam, uh, you know, Draymond Green. Uh, they just maybe it's the pressure of being away from Golden State. I don't know, but they've been playing a little bit better here on the road. Um, and obviously, I like to see that. I think here once again, like I said, without Embiid, I think it's just too tall of a task, uh, you know, to hold the Warriors in check, to hold these guards in check. Um, and right now, you got Podzimski playing really well. You got a lot of guys playing, starting to really play well for the Warriors. Kaminga, um, Draymond Green starting to pick it up again. You know, the only guy that's like, what's going on with him is Clay Thompson. Obviously, he's kind of lost his uh, he's lost his mojo. But 
Warriors should get it done today. Love it there for number three pick. We got the Golden State Warriors minus two and a half spread here versus the Philadelphia 76ers. Minus 108 odds on FanDuel. Okay, and finally at number four, we got Cade Cunningham. Under 22 and a half points here for the Detroit Pistons. Minus 105 odds on points bet. So guys, he's under in five of his last five games. What no, What's most notable over this last five games is that his high for shots has been 17 in that span. So he really hasn't been shooting the ball all that much lately, um, which I like seeing that. Obviously, with him going on the road, you got a lot of blowout potential here. Blowout potential with the spread set to 13 in favor of the Kings. I think it's going to be hard for Detroit to keep up with the Kings, particularly you know on their home floor with the Kings being on their home floor. And as far as a positional matchup, not too bad. The Kings' 13th fewest points allowed the point guards, 15th fewest over the last seven games. So they definitely don't get waxed versus the point guard position. And Kate Cunningham hasn't been as aggressive lately. He's been passing the ball more lately, being more of a facilitator, which obviously we'd love to see that once again. Um, and again, this is a spot where I could see the Kings blowing them out. Of course, you know, how'd that work out for us last game? But Kate Cunningham's minutes are going to be somewhat managed as well. You're not going to see him play an, you know, an absurd amount of minutes, I don't think. You'll see him play, you know, in the 30 to 33 minute range, which is much better than what we had on DiVincenzo yesterday where he played like 40 something. Uh, so I obviously hurt. Last time he played in Sacramento, he had just 13 points. The other meeting he had up in Detroit, he had 25. So he hasn't had any crazy games versus the Kings. Like I said, 13 on the road his last time in Sacramento. So love it there, guys, for number four pick. We got Kate Cunningham under 22 and a half points here for the Detroit Pistons. Minus 105 odds on points bet. All right, guys, it's going to do it for our picks. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 9,000 subscribers. Your guys' support means the world to me. It really does. Even in the hard times, the good times, the bad times, we're going to have them, guys. It's just the way it works. Um, and hopefully today we can obviously break out and um, at least have a three-in-one day. Hopefully a sweep. Love to sweep the slate today. Uh, that'd be a good film. Might have an added play later, so look for that later. Um, I gotta, I gotta check, but, um, might also have a ladder challenge later. I'm not sure yet. Ladder challenge missed by one leg too yesterday, which was kind of sad. You know, that would have been at least nice to get that, but it's been rough guys. It's been a tough stretch. Just one and eight in the last two days. Uh, like I said, we've, before that we were absolutely on fire. I mean, I, I'd have to count in my mind now where we're at, but we're, you know, just one of those things. We bounce back today, though, guys. I appreciate all of you guys' support. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we will catch you all next time. Peace out.